Hello, this is Forrest from blogbolts.com and today I wanted to show you how to create a basic chart theme for WordPress's 2014 theme. WordPress introduced the 2014 theme with their last major upgrade and it's a really pretty looking theme um, that creates a great magazine layout for, for um, your blog and as you can see I've applied it to my um, everyday nomad travel blog and there's a few things that I want to change for example it doesn't go to the full width of the page um, I think the width of the post is a little bit too too narrow and also I'd like to put my logo up where the the page title title is I like the theme because the responsiveness is really good um, it works great on the mobile and at various other sizes as well but I don't want to make the changes directly to the theme because if WordPress supply any updates then it will overwrite them. So the safest option is to create a child theme which thankfully is very easily easily done. So first let's go to the um, to the FTP for everydaynomad.com I've logged into my WP content forward slash themes and here you can see all the themes that we have I want to create a child theme for 2014, so I'm simply going to create a new folder first. I'm going to name that 2014 child. Now something important here that I've learned is that um, if there's any spaces in the name of the folder, it, it messes up the child theme. So make sure there's no spaces. Uh, you can use dashes and things. So 2014 child. Let's create that. Now for your child theme to work you only actually need a style.css file but we're going to create a few other little bits too. So first um, we'll create the, the only file that's needed style.css sorry about my typing style.css but I also want to create a functions.cs sorry functions.php and a new folder images. Your style sheet will actually over overrule the styles from the parent 2014 theme. Your functions that you put into the functions.php will work in addition to the parent themes functions and of course images is a good place to store any theme specific images that you create. Now the style.css um, and the functions both need some content. So I'm going to edit them with my text editor. Let's put them together. And thankfully on the WordPress um, codex in their child themes um, section they've given us the code that we need for the style.css specifically for the 2014 child. This can be easily adapted to work with um, a number of child themes actually, uh, well, for creating a child theme for any, any parent theme. So let's post that in, paste that in. Um, the only things needed from this header are the theme name and the template. Here you can see the template is 2014 and the theme name is 2014 child. All this other information can be edited and deleted as, as you want. So let's delete some of that. Um, I'll put myself down as the author and I'll put blog bolts as the author URA. Version 1, sure. And theme URI. Let's just put it down as everydaynomad.com for now. So the thing that this this does is it tells the um, tells WordPress that the theme template is 2014, and it uses this import command that brings in the style CSS from 2014, and it gives you the name 2014 child. That can be anything you want. Um, later on, I'm going to change it to Everyday Nomad Theme or something like that. So I'll save that. 
Now, my um, functions.php simply needs an opening tag and a closing tag, which I'm copying from the WordPress codex to. Um, I'll delete the function that's in there. So basically between these two tags you can add the custom functions for your specific theme. So I'll save that as well. Okay, now back to WordPress itself. I'll go to themes. And you can see here now that the active theme is 2014. Um, and underneath you can see 2014 child. If we do a live preview of that, you can see that it's actually taking the styles and everything from its parent. So let's save and activate that. Okay, that's activated. Now visit the site to make sure everything's in order. And there you have it. So, now to make any changes to the style CSS or add any functions, these can be done within the child theme files and they won't affect the parent theme at all. Um, I've, I'll just show you an example. I've got a bunch of styles that I've created for my site here. Um, I'm going to add them to the child theme functions. I'll save them and hopefully when I reload this um, you'll see my styles will be activated. And this is all through the child theme. There we go. It's not perfect yet but I'm working on some updates for this theme. Um, I've made it full width to the page. I've added my logo. Um, I've increased the width of the, the post area and made sure that the thumbnails fit 100% across. So, for example, if we click on the latest post. Okay, now I've also created a few custom functions. Um, when you click on this button, I created a function where um, a pop-up will, will come up for the sign-up. Um, so that's get my custom functions as well. Make sure I've got all of them. And paste them into functions.php between the two tags. And save that. Now the custom function should be saved too, so hopefully if I click on this button here. Yep, my email is coming up now. Small CSS thing I have to fix there. Um, and that's basically it. As you can see, we've made quite a few small changes um, in a child theme and it hasn't affected the parent 2014 theme at all. I hope that's helpful and I'll include a download of a zip file of the um, custom theme, a uh, custom child theme, so that you can use it as a base to edit um, and do whatever you need. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please um, leave them underneath the YouTube video or in the accompanying post, which will be linked under the YouTube video. And I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much.